Welcome to our lecture online. Another feature on the surface of Mars, which is unlike anything you'll find anywhere in the solar system, is that enormous valley called Val Marineris. Now, when telescopes began to be big enough, when the objective lens began to reach a size of about 30 inches across, almost a meter across, astronomers could actually see the detail, or not the detail, but can see the image of that enormous valley on the surface of Mars when almost nothing else was visible except some regions of dark and light. It is so big that you can actually see it through a telescope from Earth. Now, what is it? Well, it's an enormous canyon, not unlike the Grand Canyon, but the Grand Canyon on steroids, so to speak. It is about 2,500 miles long, roughly 4,000 kilometers. It would span the distance from LA to New York, all the way across the country of the United States. The width can be as much as 100 kilometers across, 60 miles wide, and in some places it's almost 5 miles deep, roughly 7 kilometers, about 4.5 miles. So it far surpasses what the Grand Canyon would look like. It would be quite a sight to stand on the side of that canyon and see it go down 3, 4, 4.5 four miles down and 60 miles across at its widest place. Imagine standing in front of a canyon like that. Even standing in front of the Grand Canyon is beyond description. The awe that you get by looking at this enormous canyon cannot be described. You have to see it for yourself. Imagine standing in front of a canyon like this. Now here's a beautiful picture from space of the canyon. It's not the whole canyon in totality, but it runs from the Tarsus Highlands all the way down to the plain called the Chrysa Planitia. And of course, back in the days when it was a wet planet, lots of water would run down the canyon. There's plenty of evidence that at the start of the canyon, at the, at the uh, Tarsus Highlands, that we see plenty of tributaries going into the canyon. So it looks like water was flowing into the canyon when there was a time that the planet was wet. But it wasn't the water that carved this canyon. We'd like to believe that since this canyon has been around for so long and the age of the canyon is roughly from two to three and a half billion years old, that's an enormously long time. And of course, if water had been flowing to that canyon for a significant portion of that, you can imagine that water could indeed carve a canyon like that, but not on Mars. Mars was a wet planet, but not to the extent where we believe that water could have carved it. There was another reason why that canyon exists. And it turns out it was basically the splitting up of the crust of the planet back several billion years ago when the crust wasn't as thick and there was a lot more heat in the internal of the planet. The planet had just been hit by that enormous object that basically destroyed the top part of the planet. There should have been plenty of heat in the planet that would have allowed enough motion in the crust to the point where the crust in places could actually crack and that's exactly what we think happened to Mars that the, the crust just simply opened up and formed this enormous canyon. There's several other places near the Tarsus region or within the Tarsus region near this canyon where we find other places where we could tell that the, that the, that the earth or the, the surface had actually cracked open. We see other places like that. And there's still places like that on other planets, like on Venus, we have also found, but to a smaller scale, the same kind of features, but not, a, not at all to the extent that we see on Mars. So here we have this enormous canyon with canyon walls that are several miles down. It, it covers an enormous space. Imagine the United States being right here and seeing the canyon across the entire width of the country. It would just be absolutely amazing to see that. So, that's a very unusual feature, and yes, when you take a composite picture of Mars, it stands out like almost nothing else. Of course, close by that to the Val Marineris, if you then up go to the upper left here, you'll see the, the three large Tarsus volcanoes, and then just a little bit further out, you see Mount Olympus. So it is quite a region of the planet that just stands out with its incredible features that it has Val Marineris next to the plate, uh, plate volcanoes, and the shield volcanoes then next to Mount Olympus. So it is quite a feature to behold and just can't get tired of it uh, looking at it. Now, of course, we have some very high resolution pictures of that region and it's just absolutely awesome to be able to see that from space when they put all those pictures together in composite, you got some incredible views of that particular canyon. So too bad we can't go on holiday to see the canyon. It's a little too far away.
So why did it crack then? Did it dry? Did the water evaporated and it just... Did it crack because of dryness? No, it, it, there were much more powerful forces at hand. So on the Earth, we have 16 major plates that are always moving relative to each other. Well, in the beginning, when Mars was a little bit more like Earth, when the crust wasn't as thick, there was more heat, there was a little bit more tendency for that to happen on Mars as well. But the plates never cracked independently of one another to the point where they were able to start moving. But it was the beginning of the cracking of the surface of the crust of of the planet, which was probably much thinner then, and so it began to crack in places, uh, especially where there was a lot more stress due to the uplifting of the Tarsus region. That was probably the result of that. But, yeah, but you said there was no plate tectonics. There was, it was kind of like the beginning of the plate tectonics. It wasn't a full-blown cracking apart where they could move independently, but there were places where they began to crack from the stresses and the heat built up inside the planet. And of course, we're talking about a long time ago. So why did it stop? Good question. Why did it stop? Because the crust became thicker, the planet cooled, and as the crust became thicker, it became more difficult for the forces to break things apart. So the whole crust is a single piece still on Mars. So that thing covers a big part of um, Mars, since you said that's about as wide as the whole United States. Yes. And Mars is quite a bit smaller than Earth. Yeah. So it covers... Percentage. That's a good question. So how big is the canyon relative to the planet Mars, since the planet is a lot smaller? Um, Grand Canyon is better. It's pretty much as a speck in that canyon. So <laughs> yeah, the Grand Canyon would be about this big. <laughs> yeah, it would be very much smaller than that. Um, if you think the radius of the planet is about 3,400 kilometers, so the radius of the planet is about the same size as the size of a canyon. So that's big. But if you take the circumference, it would be 2 pi times the radius. So it spans about one-sixth the circumference of the planet. So the, yeah, the crack is about one-sixth the circumference of the planet. It's big. It's no question about it. It's huge. But it, there wasn't enough cracking to separate different continental plates like on Earth. So when the planet, so this formed after it had water? They suspect, and the reason why they f try to figure that out, they look at the impacts on the edges and within the canyon itself, crater impacts from, from meteor impacts. Uh, they try to determine the age, and that's where the age came from, from two to three and a half billion years old. So that's the estimate based upon the kind of crater impacts that we see near the edges and inside the, uh, the canyon itself. So it's been around for a long time. Well, so was there ever water in there? Yes. Was there water in there? Absolutely. We think of, just like with the Grand Canyon, that a river would flow through that, that there would be precipitation on the highlands, just like you would see on the earth, and then water would run down to the oceans during the summertime. In the wintertime, it would all be frozen up probably, but in the summertime, uh, you would see water running down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that would be quite a sight.